Hi there, welcome to this final video in the How to Create Music in Cubase Elements video series. In this last video, we're going to take the production ideas we've already come up with. We're going to use the Arranger track to completely remix these production ideas into a new project. I'm going to show you how you can use the Arranger track to perform live, and I'm also going to show you how you can right mouse click on an audio sample and add it directly into the sampler track. Then you can start playing with this audio sample live. The very last step is exporting your music so that you can share it with the world, and we'll look at this at the end of the video. In the last video, we looked at roughly mixing everything so it was ready to go sonically. Let's start this video by adding the arranger track and dragging it up to the top of the project window. Next, we can get a pen to start drawing in these events. I'm just going to change my snap to bar so it's easier to draw in these events. There's one, the next one's done, it's really quick. I'm simply drawing an event in that covers each of these building blocks that I've created over the course of this video series. And as I draw them in, over on the left hand side, you'll notice that they start to appear ready for us to use. Once you've finished drawing in the events, you can go over to the left hand side and click on a triangle. And that section of the track will start playing. Use the drop down menu down the bottom to specify exactly when you want it to change in between the events that you're selecting. The Arranger track makes for a great live performance tool. You don't need to sequentially play a project from start to finish. And you'll notice I didn't write it from start to finish. I just put in a whole heap of events. Up in the top left hand section of the Arranger track in the left zone, we've got the Arranger chain. And we can drag these events up. And we can specify how many times we want these events to be played. So now I am starting to build a track sequentially which can be edited on the fly whenever I want. I'm gonna speed this process up and drag all of my events into some sort of musical shape. Now I can rename the arranger chain or I could come up with a completely new chain so I've got a number of different options. The E button will open the arranger editor and you can see the counter there telling me how many times each of these sections is going to be played. Clicking on this little button will open a new menu, which will allow me to flatten this arranger chain that I've created into an entirely new project. That's pretty handy because now we do have a project that can play from start to finish and make some sort of musical sense. When I flattened the arranger chain into a new project, it also placed those events on the left-hand side in the lower zone in the order that I chose. So I'm still free to change the order of the project on the fly. So once again, really handy for a live performance. Speaking of live performance, in an earlier video, I showed you how you could control the pitch of the vocal using an external keyboard. So now if I'm playing live, I can just play notes on the keyboard and I can alter the harmony or even the main melody using a MIDI keyboard. I can also play live over any of the tracks that I have open whilst the main project is playing behind me. We can also integrate things like the all new sampler track into something like a live performance or a remix very quickly. We just right mouse click on the event, go to audio and create sampler track. Now if we go down to the lower zone and select the sampler control, we can edit the start and the end of the audio event. And now it's just basically time to have some fun messing with the audio warp, the pitch, the filter and the amp. You can add effects over the top of the sampler track. So I'm adding a delay to try and make this sound a little more interesting. There's a really easy to use filter inside of Cubase Elements and that's the Morph filter. And if I load that up, I can change the filter live whilst I'm playing the sample over the top of my project. Of course, you can record whatever you're doing on the sampler track. And as I showed you in the mixing video, you can automate any of these effects. So the potential is almost endless or limitless for you to come up with a creative sound. And you can see just how easy it is to remix these musical ideas. Now there's no point in remixing musical ideas if you can't get it out to the world. So now it's time to do an audio mixdown of our new project. I'm naming it 
You should also select the appropriate file format for the audience you want to share this project with. You can upload it to SoundCloud, and then as soon as you hit export, it will export the project into a stereo mix down, and you're ready to go. You've got your very own project. Over the course of this video series, we've created a groove, we've created a chord progression, we've created a whole series of musical building blocks, we've come up with a vocal hook, we've mixed our audio, and we've also remixed all of these ideas into an entirely new project. We've also looked at how you can export your music to the world. There's plenty more instructional videos on the Steinberg YouTube channel, so please subscribe, and we love connecting with creative people, so look us up on social media. Enjoy being creative with Cubase Elements.